What's going on guys? Welcome back for another installment of the Claim Modeling series. There's a playlist with all of these videos in the cards as well. And if you haven't yet seen the other episodes, go back, watch from episode one, the start of the basics, through what tools you might wanna get, and uh, the basic setup of the model behind me. So go back, watch those, and then come back here after you're done, and uh, then you'll be all caught up and ready to go. I've gone over the setup, I've gone over the basic tools you might wanna have, and this model is sitting right here. I went ahead and got online and found this sketch, and uh, this is gonna be what we're building here. So all I've done is built a little T-stand, set up my rendering right here. I can also put a picture of that on the screen in high definition. If that rendering was done, or this sketch was done by this guy, so uh, yeah, all credit to him. I pretty much just went online and took it. So some kind of, I don't know, BMW maybe. Um, but it's got the right kind of wheelbase. There's about three wheel gap between here, which is how this model was originally built. So this should work out perfectly. I also really liked this sketch because it is rougher. It's not a fully refined finished uh, drawing. Uh, and what that does is allows us to interpret kind of what the surfaces are doing. What I'm gonna do first is start by looking at the profile of this armature, comparing it to the sketch. Uh, what I noticed is maybe somewhere, what I've noticed is maybe somewhere in this area here, I might have to knock down this foam a little bit, uh, possibly, but I might not do it yet. I might do it later, I might wait. And the front looks good. This is probably low enough. Windshield's low enough. This kind of follows what that is doing. So I think that'll be fine. The, uh, yeah, so I think the armature as it sits will be pretty good. I think in plan view, which is uh, this way, looks like we've got enough fender here looking in the mirror for symmetry. Definitely gonna have to build out the side as well as this body side. And it looks like we might have enough rear fender. We're gonna have to play around with it when we get there. But that's all stuff for way in the future. So the thing to do now, once I know that my armature is pretty much right, uh, I have some clay heating up in my mini oven that's in episode two that I made. It's basically just a box with tin foil that heats up clay. I also have a heat gun. So, I can take my heat gun, heat this up, and then start applying some clay. There's a way to do it. I'll show you in just a minute. You want your clay to be moldable, but not dripping or melting. So this is a good consistency. Could be a little warmer, but keeping it consistent temperature isn't uh, that easy right now. And the biggest thing when putting clay on a model is that you really, really push it hard into that styrofoam, at least when you're initially packing. I'm just gonna get this little spot filled. And then what I like to do is use this part of my finger when working on a scale model to really lay clay on the surface. And what this does is it ensures that you're not gonna have any air pockets which can cause delaminations, and it's gonna be nice and smooth as you apply it. I'm gonna move my mirror back. Yeah, this clay could be a little bit hotter. But I'm gonna go ahead and get packing on this thing, and uh, I'll just pull the camera back, and I'll Come over here. Now, mega important when you're packing, uh, it's good to step back and look at your profile, which is gonna be the middle part of your car, uh, to match what your sketch is. So I'll pack, kind of step back, evaluate, go back, pack more, and kind of follow that until we get a rough shape of what we wanna have.
Okay. Well, the time lapse I just did was only like two minutes. Uh, I've been packing for a lot longer than that. Uh, when you don't have an oven and you have to use just a heat gun, it takes a lot longer. But uh, I've got kind of a rough pack going on the model and uh, roughly getting, mainly focusing on like this roof line section, kind of building out the hood and then these fenders are really big. So going back and uh, trying to capture some of that in the plan view. I'm definitely bulged out too much in here. So I'm gonna have to definitely take off on there. Uh, right now is a good point for me to stop for today. Just because now it's gonna be a point of putting lines on the car and actually starting to rough some stuff in. So I'm probably gonna do that in either the next video. It's a few days later and I'm finally getting back into the garage here and I've thought about some of the ways that I'm gonna go about filming and uh, all of that stuff. Uh, I did actually plan or start filming a video about tools, but I think what I'm gonna do, which will be more beneficial, is to only use or only introduce tools as I'm using them. That way it's super simple. You don't have to worry about getting things that you might not use all the time. So I'm gonna start off by just using uh, one, or tools, one or two simple tools. Uh, the first one being a sure form, which looks like this. And these range between like $5 and $15. They make them in flat sizes, the rounded ones with the handles like this. And uh, you can get them in all shapes and sizes. This is the one I'm gonna be using first. And the second thing I'm gonna be using is just a simple uh, knife, like a kitchen knife. You could use anything from a small steak knife, a pocket knife, a uh, huge kitchen knife, whatever you want to use. Something that's nice, you can draw lines on the model and uh, chop out parts if needed, stuff like that. So those are the only two, two, the only two tools that I'm gonna be using uh, starting off roughing this model in. And so this is pretty much as far as we got up until this point. Uh, the model has a rough pack, mainly focusing on this center line profile here and I can get into like different parts uh, of the terminology. But basically, the center line is the center of the car and that's what splits it in half, basically. So um, that is the profile that we wanna get. So I've probably got some more packing to do on the hood, in the back, and kind of messing with that. So, all that being said, I'm going to keep on sculpting on this thing probably shoot some time-lapse footage and then uh, recap a little bit as I go and that's probably going to be the format for a lot of this stuff unless I'm showing a certain technique but for the most part it'll be uh, me doing something filming it and uh, explaining it as I go I'm at a point now where I feel like my center profile line where my center line in the middle is getting relatively close to what that's doing on the sketch. So what I'm going to do now is take my knife and start drawing uh, where relative shapes are gonna be and uh, where the greenhouse, which if you come over here, this, everything from this belt line, so this is your belt line, everything from there up. So all of this window glass area is your greenhouse. And that's your technical term of the day, greenhouse. This is what we wanna establish first because this basically sets up the rest of the vehicle proportion wise. So what I'm gonna do is start sketching on all of these different little lines, uh, kind of lay out the proportions of the vehicle and uh, go from there. So. I'm gonna start doing that and uh, hopefully time lapse will catch all that and then I will, you know, catch up with you guys again. What I've done is gone ahead and drawn on basically all of my rough lines and it might be hard to see in the camera. Might be easier. It's hard to tell right now, it is super rough and uh, it's super rough. And I did forget to mention that if your knife 
is too sharp, then it's gonna wanna wander when you're drawing lines. So if you can dull your knife up a little bit, you'll have a better time. You don't want it to be super sharp. You actually just want it to be able to draw lines. But what I think I gotta do now is go ahead and take my Sureform tool, start shaping this, and shaping this center profile. Pretty straightforward. This handle has a little blade. This one's dirty right now, but this blade basically clicks into that handle. And you'll see as I go over this model, pretty straightforward, uh, just dragging the tool to shave the clay off with these kind of cheese grater teeth. And the main thing to remember when you're working on something is to always do a crisscross pattern. And so I'm gonna go this way at an angle, boop, boop, boop. And I'm gonna switch and go this way, boop, boop, boop. And what that does is prevents uh, a lot of high and low spots in your surface. Uh, roughing it in, that's not gonna matter as much, but I'm gonna go ahead, clean this blade off, and then get to the actual profiling of the clay model. <music> things to note now that I've got this blocked in a little bit better give you guys a quick look got some lines drawn on here a uh, few things to note first thing that's mega important uh, you can see your surfaces but the best thing is to touch your surfaces and that lets you feel the curvature if you've got any holes or high spots uh, I can definitely tell I've got a hole in here uh, and then I have a little bit of a high spot here, a little bit of a low spot. Redraw your lines all the time. They're gonna go away. So if you like a line that you have, make sure that you're retracing it as often as you can. That way you're not losing it and you kind of have a, a visual guide on where you wanna shape things to. And now's a good time to talk about building to a theoretical intersection. That's what this right here is, which is my line. So, your roof is gonna from, say this is your car, this is your roof, it's gonna do this. Every surface of a car has curvature, so you're building, this is your center line, you're building this section right here, which is this, right? So instead of building this edge rounded right off the bat, we're gonna end up doing that later. So what we wanna do is build the top section of your roof and your side glass like this. And this is what creates a theoretical intersection. We're gonna build the top section of the roof as if the surface continued forever in space. So what I'm saying is if this surface right here continued forever in space, it would come all the way out here. And this surface, our other surface, we're gonna build as if that went forever. So I've sculpted down the side a bit, but basically that. And the theoretical intersection is what happens when both of those surfaces collide in space, which is giving us this hard edge. So long story short, build to hard edges. I'm gonna build to all hard edges first uh, for the most part, and then come back later and we can soften this. We can put fillets, which would be, if you've got something like this, it would fill the surface and a radius, obviously the other way, go that way. Hopefully I've explained that decently well. Drop any questions you might have down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys with your process. Anything that I've said that might be confusing, anything I said that might be confusing, my GoPro's turning off, 
and uh, help you guys with any of those questions, concerns, whatever you got going on, let me know down below and I'll try to help you through it as best as I can and try to explain it there. The last thing I wanna talk about just right now is foam like this. If you got, if you get any foam showing through from your armature, you went too far with the clay. I'm building off an old armature, so I'm gonna run into probably a decent amount of this. You have two options. Option number one, take something and push it in. Basically, I'm just compressing that foam in there nice and tight, and then I'll take some hot clay, fill that hole back out. Option number two, take a knife, see where you hit foam. And chunk it out. So you're gonna wanna dig a bit deeper than your clay is gonna be, and you can just dig all that foam out in that area. Uh, if it's an area like this, you can just dig that out and repack clay over top. I'll probably just smash it all in and uh, then I'll keep on working. Started to build up this hood surface a little bit just so I can get a better proportion on the overall car. Looking at the sketch, we're kind of getting there. We're, we're getting there. We're still super, super rough but that's fine because every car starts super rough. This thing is a long way to go, and by filming and talking during this, it takes me a bit longer. All I've used today is this Sureform knife, heat gun to heat up my clay because the lamp doesn't really do all that much. Um, I used a scale, basically just to bend it and draw some lines. Um, you can also use this to scrape your surface. Uh, I'm gonna make another video about how to check for all of the holes in your surface. But overall, I think we've covered a lot of good stuff. That being said, I don't want this video to be super, super, super long and drag on forever. I have plenty of time to make more videos and I definitely plan on making more videos for, you, for all of you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me a lot and also that like button means a lot, helps out, boost the channel, boost the videos, and it kind of gives me encouragement to keep on making videos. As I said earlier, make sure to drop any of your questions down below, and if I've talked about any tools or anything like that, I'll link anything I can in the description. Uh, this is day two of filming this video, so uh, stuff earlier from the other day, kind of blurry, not gonna lie. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. If you're stuck in quarantine, watch something good on Netflix. Tell me what you're watching. I wanna know, I'm running out of stuff too. Uh, if we're out of quarantine, sweet, enjoy your freedom, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me